I had figured out that once you pay attention to how you study, it is possible to do very well as a student while at the same time not being completely overloaded with work. So I don't have time to get into the details, you know, here's how you should take notes for a math class versus studying for a class just based on discussion. You know, these sort of details I go through in the books. What I wanted to do in our time today is hit three big ideas that I hope will change the way you think about being a student. The word study is meaningless to me. I would be happy if you would banish it from your vocabulary. I'm about to teach you one way that is almost always one of those small number of things that works well. It works for almost any subject. When I did surveys of Phi Beta Kappa students from across the country while researching my second book, the tactic I'm about to tell you is the one that showed up most often on these surveys, right? The key, probably the most effective study technique that you can use is to be more like that guy. I call that active recall. And it's probably the largest hidden secret of some of the top performing students in the country is the fact that this is the only study tactic they use to prepare for almost any topic. Rewriting your notes, reading silently over your textbook, highlighting things, that's all passive recall. And that's a terribly inefficient way to learn material. Active recall by uh, contrast means you are actively trying to understand and synthesize and explain a concept without any help from any notes or any sort of textbook. I'd study the entire weekend and barely scrape by with a B. And I didn't understand what this was. I wanted to figure out how to do it. Really what I want you guys to come away with during this talk is that anything is possible with a structured study plan and destroying assumptions. I realized that good students can't teach you how to be good students because they've always been good students. They don't understand the struggles that regular students face in school. They don't understand that methodology. They've always done it their way, and their way has been successful. You're not necessarily interested in passing the exam, but you're more interested in actually learning the content. Then you're organically learning it, okay? And that is the key. That passion that you have in your life can move you. There are no barriers with that passion in life.